On May 8, 1959, the late Mike Illich, along with his wife Marion, founded Little Caesars Pizza. And from there, their business interests took off. After the success of the pizza chain, the family purchased the Detroit Red Wings in 1982 and later the Detroit Tigers in 1992. But it's another business owned by Illich Holdings that is coming under scrutiny as the country continues to grapple with the blending of sports gambling and professional leagues. It's forcing Major League Baseball to consider a change. So what's this ownership conflict of interest? And if MLB changes its policy, how would that work? Putting the Detroit Tigers in the hands of the former CEO of Little Caesars in and of itself creates zero conflict of interest. In fact, most owners of MLB teams made their money in a different business area. The Ricketts family, which owns the Chicago Cubs, made their fortune from brokerage firm TD Ameritrade. The Learners, current owners of the Washington Nationals, grew their wealth from real estate. And the father of John Fisher, the current owner of the Oakland A's, made his fortune by co-founding Gap. That's just a few of the many examples. But the conflict in this case arises from Marion Illich's ownership of Motor City Casino, one of three casino hotels in Detroit, Michigan. The Michigan State Legislature approved sports betting in December of last year after the Supreme Court struck down the ban on sports gambling in 2018. But the bill did not address the potential problem of a team owner also owning a casino. So in effect, the owner of a professional sports team could also accept bets on that sport. That leaves MLB and Kenny Gersh, the executive vice president of gaming and new business ventures for Major League Baseball, the ones to answer for what's in the best interest of the league. Generally, under our policies, if an owner of a team also owns a sports betting operation, that owner wouldn't be able to take bets on that owner's team, says Gersh. We're looking to adapt our policies to see if there's a way that if there is a separation between the owner of a club and the operations of a sports book as it relates to baseball, then we may get comfortable with it. Under current rules, Major League Baseball does not allow owners to also own an operation where bets on baseball can be made. That's one of the reasons why the league doesn't have billionaire casino magnates like Steve Wynn and Sheldon Adelson owning ball clubs. But according to Cranes, it seems like the league is looking at policies that may change its stance toward the Illiches. We would want the Illiches to not be operating the sports book as it relates to baseball, says Gersh. We are working closely with the Illich family on making sure they can offer a compelling product to sports fans without having a conflict. We wouldn't want any of our owners to benefit one way or another on whether their team wins or loses the game. So it looks like the league is considering a provision to allow the Illiches to maintain their casino operation as long as they don't allow betting on Major League Baseball. Even before sports betting was legalized, Motor City Casino brought in $493.6 million in revenue in 2019, attributing to the record $1.45 billion brought in by Detroit casinos last year. Whether the Illiches are allowed to continue cashing checks from their casino ownership as well as from their ownership of the Detroit Tigers remains in question. And the question of whether Motor City Casino can even take bets on the sport will have to be answered soon. It's yet another big quandary brought on by the legalization of sports betting, and that's how it would work.